Demstar Records are proud to present the king of crooners, Tony Colony. Click all the shoes, man. Click, click, click. What is the sound? 16 all time favorites. Four specially recorded Australian bush ballads. Happy little king of the bushes. Almost 60 minutes of superstar magic. Tony Colony, Down Under with Love. Out now. Which means that the Holy Innocent School will be closed for next week. So be sure to re-enroll your children at Seven Sorrows Primary. Please, God. Where the same generous discounts. Give me a job. Six or more Find one for Frank, too. And we Don't mind if his is better than mine, just as long as we're both in work. Foundation for purchasing the Holy Frank. And agreeing to erect Hello? a hospital there. Yeah, hang on. Mr. Tony Coloni, that noted Catholic and... Hello? Good day, it's me. As I'm in church. Bleeding tarks, always on your knees. I'm in at the office. Like at work? It was merely at Sunday. No. I rest for the wicked. I'm in charge of the counter at land environment now, and, uh, guess what? They need a temp. That's just for a month, but... I'll take it! I'll take it! Okay. I'll ask them to appoint you. Thanks, Red. I appreciate that. I've got a job! I've got a job! There must be a way to keep him out. You checked his visa? Yeah, in order. What about moral turpitude? <laughs> He's got a reference from the Pope. It's been the same on three continents. First lover boy arrives to open a hospital, and the US Secret Service appears. Then the DJBR courting Australia? Courting? They won't treat us like some bashful bride. When they click their fingers, we will lift our skirt. Or else. I suppose you heard. Harvey's got work. Yeah, good on him. Shame it's only a month. Only a month. 30 days of earning dough. Having something to do after Mum wakes you up. What I wouldn't give for only a month. When you don't have a job, you're a nothing. Frank. It's true. It's nature's way of telling you to die. You'll find something soon, mate. Uh -huh. Like what? Nice little petrol station just waiting to be robbed? It's been here for eight months and nobody's touched it. Stamp it urgent. Toss it on the pile. Flex sheets. Tea accounts. Harassment report forms. We all chip in for biscuits. There in a moment, ma'am. I've been standing here for 20 minutes. Government cutbacks, what can I do? Jeez. Now, our workplace health and safety group want to turn this office into a perfume-free zone. So, here's a list of acceptable, non-smelling deodorants. It's purely voluntary, of course, but odour addicts will be asked to sit away from the rest of us. Sir, we are in conference. Oh, I don't mind serving. No way. We're on lunch. Come back to me. Twelve dollars, please. What? Twelve bucks. I to see. Hang on. Ten bucks petrol and the chips. Hey guys, how you doing?
It's from Bonnie's Cannon Lawyers, about Mike Papal and Nolan. Bonnie Bannerman. Books are Bernardi. Mm. Oh, this is Italian. No, it's Latin, Frank. Translation's there. He's blaming me for the breakup. He's saying that I'm non functus Huh? Oh, it means I couldn't perform like a bloke. Struth. Well, it happens to the best of us, mate. I mean, it never happened to me, no siree. Frank McHugh always cuts the mustard, cuts and dices. Well, you're okay with Mum, aren't you? Sure. I She's mean... She's amazing. Yeah, Monica changed my life. She really knows how to look after a bloke. Bonnie would never feed me steak, you know. She couldn't bear cleaning the griller. And sweets? I hadn't seen trifle for years before I came here. But your mum... She even knows how to float those little bits of fruit in it. Look, my Latin's not too hot, but I know what I'd tell these turkeys in English. A lack of protein from your ex-wife's cooking robbed you of your manly capacities. You ought to have been a canon lawyer. Do you reckon they'd go for that? Sure. The Pope's a bloke. He'll understand. You're a genius, Frank. Look. Two tickets to Tony Colony. Where did you get these? At work. We got this theatrical entrepreneur who's doing two to five for fraud. He gets freebies sometimes. Look, uh, why don't you give them to your mum? Tell her you bought them for her. You know how much she loves Tony Colony. Yeah. Why not? Cyber country to your shore. I came years ago. The busker. She's sure to have a boyfriend. No harm in running into her, though. Hi. Remember me? I really admired that piece you were singing. Those, those Beatles sure knew how to write a good song. The Relief of Mafeking? Oh, I don't believe it. There's Ian. Nearly ready. Just put another one on Mom, this foot. Mum, where's lunch? There in a minute. There's one. There, there. You okay? I'm sending them to Ivy, my cellmate. Can't get Relodon in prison, but she misses them. There you go. You wonder how that little thing could fly all the way to jail. Hope I didn't load it down with too many tablets. Your eyes look funny. Have you been crying? Saw the solicitor today. He said the police can't drop the charges. They'd lock me away for at least five years. They promised they'd file it away. They said if you gave them back Mandalay. It isn't their fault. New ruling from Social Security. Any widow caught working and getting a pension is to be locked up automatically. No. Well, I won't let them. I will hide you if we have to. The lawyer said I might get off if I could maybe stop being a widow. He advised me to get married. Then I fall outside the ruling and the cops can use their discretion. Well, that's great. Bernard will marry her. Besides, he wants to. His annulment won't be through for years. Until then, he's a divorcee and I can't marry a divorcee. I'd go to hell. Don't you see? It's either five years in the nick or burning forever. I don't know what to choose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're no good to God if you're rotting in jail. You have to stay out. It's your Christian duty. You think so? Sure. Father Healy will agree. Why, it's probably a sin if you don't get hitched. See? You've been worrying for nothing. And sitting on stone. No wonder you get piles. Oh. These are from me. They're letting me move back here. Tony Colony. Oh, Frank, you shouldn't have. Where did you get them? Doesn't hurt to be generous once in a while. Look, row 17. Close enough for him to catch your knickers. Thank. I look at you and Harvey sometimes and I thank the Lord the rhythm method doesn't work. Yeah. Ah, if you're wearing aftershave. Sorry. Mum put it on me before I could stop her. I'd like to lodge this place. Gosh, you're lovely. Well, 
Why did you have to be a hooker? Something wrong? No. No, 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 not at all. No, no, no. Yeah, yes. You're objecting to the hospital? That's right. Gee, OK. <laughs> Hang on, Harv. We can't accept this, ma'am. Why? What's wrong with it? Regulation 19. Objections must be filed on blue A4 paper. Does this look blue to you, Harv? Immediately, nobody bothered no, but... with... We're not taking it. Frank's right. It's your duty to stay out of jail. Then you'll let me get married? Absolutely. But not to Bernard. The man's divorced. You marry him, it's bigamy. You can't commit sin just to stay out of jail. If we all did that, the church wouldn't have martyrs. But, Father, what'll I do? Start coming to our senior socials. We have one or two widowers there. Not Ridge Martin with the wandering hands. He's a very fine tennis player. A friend of mine, too. But what if I never let Bernard, you know, come near me? A marriage is a marriage. You can't fool God. His father don't make me choose. I'm afraid, my dear, there isn't a choice. I made my love. I'm afraid. It's not on blue paper. I don't know why he turned you down. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Taking a shortcut, are you? That's right. Down to Day Street, then across to Canal Crescent. <laughs> you... <laughs> you don't remember me, do you? You were in kindy when I was in fourth class. I, uh... I had to take you home every time you wet your pants. <laughs> We'd lie in the grass and try to have stigmatas. And uh, when I told you the facts of life, you cried all day. Rita Muldoon. <laughs> no, that can't be. She had the biggest teeth in the universe. Thanks. You've seen her to me, haven't you, St. Jude? You want me to redeem her? Thank you, thank you. I, uh, I don't call myself Rita now on account of my work. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. But I don't mind. Really? Honest. honest. Yeah. Put some people off. I don't know why. I mean, I'm just the same as anyone else. Uh, look, my prefix badge. I wear it for luck. And I always bust with my old glow white school case. Once you put a banana in, you never, you never get, get the, the smell, smell out. <laughs> <laughs> Will you give me a hand? Well, I'd like to. But well, we need that hospital. But what you're doing isn't right. I'd knock it down tomorrow if I thought it'd be helping the poor. You would. We had a Shining Star Hospital when I was in Manila. You worked in the Philippines? Sure. Mum mustn't find out. Never. But the poor and the sick, the dying, they couldn't get near it. They're a scam, Harv, a smokescreen. They want the money, take over brothels, move in on licensed clubs, and use Tony Colony as a front. They? Who's they? The Democrat Justice Bureau. The DJB? Well, here in Australia. Why not? They're in every other third world country. And they're in league with the Vatican. The Pope's backing organised crime. Not him, some of his cardinals. The ones involved in banking and arms deals. Why do you think Tony Colonies had six wives? How else could a man get five annulments? So who's going to stop them? Us. The CIA. Catholics in action. How many of us are there? You and me. You're wonderful. You're like Joan of Arc meets Penthouse. Harv, I know what they're like. You either offer them your daughters or you can yell, Yankee, go home. There's no middle ground. I'm in love. I'm in love. Tony Colonia. I can't believe it. Nothing's what it seems anymore. Good afternoon, Sister Georgina, and God bless you. And God bless you too, Lisa. Now, the interview game. It's gone before I got there. 
200 guys turned up to be a lousy storm and packer. They ought to raffle jobs, you know, like Lotto. Stand a better chance of getting one then. <laughs> Found that in the garage. Look, it's windy around here. <laughs> yeah, well, aren't robbers usually remove the label, so if you have to ditch it in a hurry, the cops can't track you. I didn't buy it for that. What if I did? I'll never get work. Whole country's down the toilet. Why should I be the last honest bloke in Australia? Because it's better than jail. Well, at least in jail, I'd be off the dole. Oh, God, I want to punch something. Yeah, so did I, when I got the sack. I felt so angry, I got kind of scared. You? Yeah, couldn't stop it, couldn't control it. I nearly did something really stupid. Look, if you want to go to jail, they're, uh... They're actually asking for applications for trainee warders. Me? A screw? <laughs> no way. Well... It's not a bad job. The holidays are OK. Why would anyone want me? Because I reckon you could do it. Look, I can't take another knockback. Not this side of Christmas. I can't. I could clue you in. Tell you what to say to the panel. No. OK. Remember what I said about the label? Hey, Bernard. Any overtime? Hmm. That must be them. There. In the van. They've been watching for weeks, I'd say. They allow no opposition. They will remove her. He can't! I won't have it! He must not get mixed up in this. Minister, we can't stop him unless... Perhaps it's time he learned the truth. No! Well, then you must tell the DJB that we don't want him. Damaged. And have them asking why I'm protecting an ungraded clerk? You know that's an answer I can't give, Victor. So the question must never be asked. Understand? But you went into that brothel. The relief of mafficking. Yes. Part of my job. With a talk to fallen women. I think of them as working girls. Haven't you heard of liberation theology? We take God's word to everyone, sort of sell it door to door like Tupperware. I'm sorry you didn't realise about me being a nun. You're not angry, are you? You should call yourself Sister Georgina and wear a veil. What made you choose St George? Not St George, Boy George. I always liked his music. Ah. Uh, put it down. Oh, this one's blue. We're on work to regulations. Union orders. Six week delay on all development objections. It'll be too late by then. Stamp that. And you're a scab. It's okay, however. I was kind of expecting this. You think that hell can burn for the whole of eternity? There's not enough oil in the universe. Try standing all day in a doll cube, Mum. Now, this is hell, right here. It couldn't get worse. So marry him, please, and make our dinner. If your dad looked down and saw I'd been damned, I'd be so ashamed. I'm sorry, Bernard. We can't get engaged, not without your annulment. I'd rather be sent to prison now and get to heaven later. Dad won't see you in heaven, no way. He wouldn't be able to. There'll be so many people in hell. One person in four gets to heaven, right? That's what Father Healy says, so most of the human race is damned. There'll be 21 trillion down there with you. That's a grand final crowd times 200 billion. And where the hell would you put that many? By the time you arrive, they'll be piled up so high they'll have reached heaven already. He's got a point, Mum. So put on the ring and stay out of jail and forget about burning. We're hungry. Maybe I could become a priest, a Marxist priest, and work with Georgina. No, I can't go into brothels. Mum would kill me. No, it's wrong. I can't love a nun. I'll go to hell. Please, St. Jude, make her go away. Oh, gosh. Gosh. If I get up early, I could go to confession. Yeah, that's it. Confession. 
So I'd seen her once or twice before she told me. But by then it was too late. I already had these special feelings for her. Sister Georgina. I didn't know she was a nun. She's not anymore. Cardinal Finzi struck her off last week and closed down the rest of her order in the Philippines. Really? Why? Those Marxist nuns are always causing trouble. Then it's okay to love her. You must never see her again. But she's Catholic and single. I want to marry her. She's an enemy of the church. That's it. You can get dressed now. Do I need another appointment? Four weeks' time wouldn't hurt. Oh, I'd better just check your specimens. Won't take a minute. Something wrong? <laughs> no, not really. What is it? Blue, that's all. Sir? Excess of zinc and pheromone. Means a state of sexual infatuation. You can tell that from my urine. Every human response is just a chemical reaction. Love, ambition, desire, they all end up in there. Every time I see them, my whole body hums. That's your prostate expanding. Perfectly normal. How are you functioning sexually since the accident? Uh, we don't. You see, she's. Uh... Well, Georgina's interested in higher things. Hers wouldn't be blue. Is there a way I can I can maybe get her to like me more? Don't see her for a while. Send the next patient in, please. What do you mean, Doctor? Remember, love is just a chemical reaction. Some compounds don't react unless you leave them alone. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. I teach you that in biochemistry. I need to speak to you. Yeah, I'm here. Where he will emerge shortly. I'll from be able to tell my grandkids that I saw Armstrong walk on the moon. I know for a personal fact. And the DJB arrive in Australia. I think you should congratulate me, Victor. They contacted me this morning. I have been chosen to lift my skirt. They want you to work for them? They want me to be their lucky. No, Mr. That's wonderful. With the Americans behind you, anything's possible. Even the lodge. These look like animal liberationists. Salila Coloni is cute. wearing a mink, but she does this because of her past life experience as a fur bearing animal. So it's a sign of respect. Wait a minute. Can we see that on the replay? Well, this is outrageous. These two people are protesting against the shining star of Hope Hospital. I can't imagine how Tony I thought you that. said he wouldn't go near yeah, her again. To our glorious antipodes. Right, Must have walked miles, Dad. Fifteen churches. He even tried the Franciscans. They're supposed to say yes to everything. Guess I'll never find a priest who's relaxed about bigamy. Maybe Frank's right. Maybe hell isn't too bad. Could be just like the sauna at Weight Watchers. First few minutes you swear it'll kill you, but then, well, it feels kind of nice. They should have arrested you. Why'd you do it, huh? People like him have no respect for the law. I wasn't breaking up. Why are you wearing Bernard's clothes? They're mine. I've got a job. There's a water. They don't find out we've got a commo in the family. What's your language, son? Why'd you pick him? Why not Al Martino or Frank Sinatra? Because they're not crooks. They've never heard us. Not yet. Bet they won't let me do the concert now. Oh, Harve, can't you be like everyone else and just get worked up about the football? I borrow some toothpaste. <laughs> nice photo in the paper. Nice one of Georgie, too. You 
not the first man to be caught by a charms and done something he regretted in the morning. How do you know her? Let's just say we were acquainted before she took the veil. No. So she's gone to war against them. I'm not surprised. There's a hopeless cause. You can bet she'll be there. It's not hopeless. You can't fight evolution, McHugh. And that's what they are. The future. If you threaten her... I'm trying to save her. From them. After what you did in that hotel last night, they'll be after you both. Talk her out of it, McHugh. Make her go back to the Philippines. Oh, she won't listen to me. Make her. You can name your price, a five, six job, an office with views. Believe me, they will kill her. You too. I expect that right now someone's loading a gun with bullets marked his and hers. He's right, Georgina. We can't fight them and survive. But we're the only two people who are speaking the truth. Doesn't that make you feel something? I'm scared. It's wonderful. I know why the martyrs went singing to the lions. They were drunk on honesty. Well, if honesty's so important, why weren't you honest with me? I've been offered a job by the minister. All I've got to do is get you back to Manila. I'm always the last to know stuff. What stuff? You and him. The affair. <laughs> I, I took a vow of chastity. I wouldn't break that for... Mel Gibson, don't test me, please. Let me tell you about your minister. He eats corn chips in bed. He wears jockey shorts with star signs. He owns LP records of train engine noises. Does that seem like my sort of guy? Well, hell yeah, I became no. a nun because of him. He deflowered you? You make me sound like a pot plant. No, he never touched me. The minister's my brother. Thank you, Sinjit. Thank you. Thank you. I knew you'd look after me. Jailing widows, that's appalling. I'm so scared of going back. But I don't want to go to hell either. Does it really burn forever, sister? Might be better if you didn't find out. Now, this might hurt a bit, Harve. How did it happen? He tripped and fell. Gosh, you're wonderful. I like everything about you. I like your little fingers. I like your teeth. The tip of your nose.